Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Steve McLaughlin. We're right in the middle of summer, and that means not just the hottest temperatures, but the hottest feeling temperatures for much of the United States. And remember, feels like temperature is actually two different things. In the winter, it's the wind chill. In the summer, it's the heat index. The wind chill happens when it's really cold outside, you get a strong wind, and your skin actually thinks it's colder than it is. It's the opposite of that in the summer. Take very hot temperatures and add very high humidity, and your body actually requires a lot more work to cool down, which is why your body thinks it's actually hotter than it is. Have you ever been walking in Las Vegas in the summertime? It's really hot, maybe 115, 120 degrees, but you're not sweating. Well, in reality, you are sweating. What's happening is water is hitting your skin, but before you get a chance to feel it, it evaporates because the air is so dry and that keeps your body nice and cool. So in Las Vegas, you could have an actual temperature of 115 and a feels like temperature of 115, or maybe even a feels like temperature of 110. But let's say the humidity is really high. As your body tries to perspire, that water starts to collect on you in the form of sweat. It doesn't get a chance to evaporate and your body doesn't get a chance to cool down. So all of a sudden your body has to work a lot harder to stay cool. And this is why a temperature of 90 degrees plus really high humidity could make it feel like the triple digits. So the bottom line is this, the heat index is the temperature your body thinks it is because it has to work a lot harder to stay cool. If you see feels like temperatures or a heat index above 100 degrees, it's dangerous to be outside for too long, so drink lots of water. If you're starting to get hot and you're not sweating and it's really humid outside, that's when you know there's a problem. You need to go into the air conditioning as quickly as possible.